I used to see you fuck. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Angler Boy T Black checking in with a whole nother video, y'all. And today I came out to my beautiful bridge in Key Biscayne with some sardine that I had in the freezer, along with some thread fin herring. I used those as cut bait and I chummed the water with my DIY homemade store chum that I made in my last video. And I had a blast, y'all. So without any further ado, stick around, y'all, for another lit video. Alrighty, guys, now that I'm out here at the corner of the bridge, first thing I really want to do is get my rig set up, which I normally would have. But I'm gonna just go with my chicken rig. I got an ounce and a half egg, egg sinker. I'm gonna thread that through twice. Just like that. Couple over and unders. One, two, pull them tight. Same thing again. One, two, pull that tight. Let's go three times. One, two. That's secured. Cut the tag in. Like so. Go up about a foot to two foot above the sinker like this. Put one finger like that. Grab the other one the bottom of the line like that and it's just like tying a uh, knot in a balloon guys you do that so you can have this little tag in at least five to six inches i like it away from the main line horizontally i got a size six mustad hook right here guys i'm gonna thread that through one time all the way through then i'll open it and pass the hook through one time, just like that, y'all, look. Open this, tag in, split it, pass the hook through, and pull the hook slowly, just like that, y'all. And that's the rig. That's the rig I'm gonna be using right there, guys. Alrighty, guys, right here you see some of the sardine and the pilchards that I'm gonna be using as bait. They're all nice and salted up. That just dehydrates them, guys, so that way they're nice and like kind of like a jerky type thing. They're not so soft. If you guys would like to see me to make a video on how to keep your baits for a long time, at least a month, and they won't be uh, soft, because you know sardine, they usually break easy. These are kind of like rubbery at this point after they dehydrate. Like I said, guys, it's kind of like jerky. But here's the chum I made in my last video, y'all. I broke the, the brick in half. And that's what we have, y'all. I'm going to be tying this to the rope. Tying the rope to this, guys, and um, deploying this in the water. Let's see what we can't do, y'all. Seriously. I think this chum's going to work because I know in my last time I made chum, guys, it worked. I used the same recipe, and it usually works. I know this is going to work, y'all. I actually know it's going to work. So let's deploy this, guys. I'm going to just lower it down slowly. Hopefully I got enough rope. We're going to find out right now if it slipped through my hands. I think I got enough rope. Chum back deploy. Y'all look, it's already doing what it's supposed to do. Look at that. I'm ringing the dinner bell. Look at that, y'all. Let's see if we can get something. But I'm going to tie this off. I don't want it to go too far over there. So what I'm going to probably do is gather the rest of this rope up. I'm gonna tie it off to the bridge right here. I'm about to catch my own chum bag, y'all. What a mission. It's super windy, guys, so I might even go some more down. I'm gonna walk down some more with this thing. So that way it, the slick goes right where I want to fish. Look guys, we already getting them stirred up. Look at that. They coming out already. Look, look at all those fish guys. That's my chum guys, look. Look at that y'all, look at my chum. Look what my chum is doing to these guys. Look at that guys. That is my chum, my homemade chum. So if you guys want the recipe, there it is y'all. Look at that. 
I could watch these little grunts and sergeant majors and mangrove snappers eat my chum all day, but let's get this in the water, guys. I'll get right back to you as soon as I get this in the water and the braid on my line, I promise. I'm gonna just take one of my baits and I'm gonna use the plug, meaning cut the head, cut the tail, use the middle body section. And it works well with these long shank hooks because it buries the whole hook, y'all. So I'm gonna just go in and out two times. Like that. And I'm gonna just drop that down. We got some pretty nice fish down there, y'all. Let's see what we can't get. I just wanna lower it down, y'all. I don't wanna really drop it, I wanna lower it down. I'm right here in the middle column trying to see what, what from the school that's eating the chum will come up and take it, y'all. I just got a nice tug. Nice size bites already, y'all. Ooh, I think I got that guy. No, I missed. I got a pretty big bait, so. Something took it, y'all. Let's get another bait on there. I needed to let some line up. What is this? Yellow. Flag yellow. I'm telling you, y'all. This guy might even go 12. First fish of the day, y'all. Nice size yellow. Later, buddy. Let's look at that school of fish, y'all. Look at that school, guys. So much fish attracted to that chum guy. Let's get another bait, y'all. Let's get another bait, y'all. Oh yeah, good drop, good drop, good drop. Baby, nice little lane. Let's 
let this guy go back. Even if he is eight, I'm letting him go back. Nice fight, buddy. Later, buddy. He really wanted to go back, y'all. Little bait fish. Later, buddy. Go, go, go. That's a fish, y'all. That's a fish. Look at that. Ooh, hoo, hoo, yeah, that's getting bigger, baby. That's what you call a mango. That's what you call a mango, baby. I ain't caught one of these in a while. It's a nice size niner. Nine inch little mangrove, y'all. Look at that. Let them go back. Later, buddy. Him, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, what is this, grass or a fish and grass? Oh, we got both, grass and a fish with grass. That's a little laney with grass on the sinker. First, let's get off this guy. Grass off. Nice little laney, y'all. Later, little buddy. as well. Little grunt. Later, buddy. Alrighty, guys. That concludes this video. Thank you all for watching. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. It's about noon now. I've been here for like three or four hours. I'm going to be getting out of here and getting myself some lunch. Once again, I love and appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting the channel, guys. And peace.